Well, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta start this video off with some GTA 5 heist music playing in the background because holy smoke is it ain't no jokers, okay? Clench your butt cheeks, put your seatbelts on because we got an update on the homie Dr. Disrespect. Yay! You know the, the studio that he started? Midnight Society, apparently a dev came out from his very own studio and done an interview! We're gonna get into that story! This situation is wilder and has been wilder than Area 51 conspiracies. We're gonna get into this one, like the video if you wanna get the receipts, you wanna know the truth, dislike the video if not. Because apparently, I'm not sure if you heard this or not, but around the same time when we heard about Dr. Disrespect, uh, ex-Twitch employees, uh, you know, they were the ones that started it all and after that doc also put out his statement and uh things went sideways after that right and dr disrespect has been hyping up his reveal or i should say his comeback there's a video clip that i want to share with you okay so he has he, he has been hyping up his reveal right or comeback but around the time when ex twitch employees were you know exposing him or whatever you want to call alleging him this and that uh, of course dr disrespect has put out a statement after the fact so now it's no longer allegations allegations but when they were alleging dr disrespect they were also saying that there has been more than just dr disrespect oh, shit. saying that there is a list of youtubers streamers apparently getting down with minors as well it's crazy and so far that list has not leaked Shout out to Jake Lucky, Officer Lucky, Jake Sucky, he, this man goes by multiple names, okay? Uh, shout out to the homie GWM, roll it. Team at Midnight Society, I should say former team as he has now parted ways amicably after their statements made around his allegations and own admission to now months ago as he parted ways with Midnight Society, now no longer tied directly to the game that was going to be set in stone as his game for the gaming sphere yeah. known as Dead Drop. It is actually a recent interview by Decrypt, a great YouTube channel, we'll link the full- No whether you are defending doc right now or whether you are accusing him because i'm i'm seeing this situation being 50 50 right now right whether you're defending him or accusing him it's wild right that he started his studio that was his very own studio he got fired from his own studio bro that is crazy i never like yeah bro i never thought that we'll see a day where a man starts studio and then he's fired from his very own studio wild stuff man without dr disrespect bro like dead rob that's dead de dead rob right that's the game they're coming out with it's over for that full interview down below with quinda hoya actually a co-founder over at midnight society and of course for this game dead drop where he addresses those allegations uh, of the doc is it dead drop or dead rob but wait for it and having to part ways with him as he also says amicably and the future of what this game will look like. Sure. It's been a turbulent month or so. Um, I think that's fair to say for Midnight Society and Dead Drop. One of your co-founders, Dr. Disrespect, was alleged to have inappropriate conversations with a minor. You guys then put out your own investigation into that and decided to terminate your relationship with him. Um, sort of, I'm interested in what that process looked like. What was that investigation and how were you able to unwind sort of his responsibilities and power? Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's good, Ryan. I appreciate that. Um, the way that we... So what happened was... You know, we got uh, the wind wind of the things that were kind of happening. We're like, okay, well, the four of us, we got to get on a call. Wind off it? So they got wind off it. Okay. We got to talk about this. And that's what we did. So the four of us had many, many calls over that, the course of that entire weekend. And went over everything, the, 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 you know, the allegations and all that kind of stuff. And through the discussion of that, that phone call, phone calls, I should say. Um, yeah, we came to the conclusion Yo, that- how, how many calls we're talking about? Like one, two, three, four, five, ten, dozens, maybe hundreds. Like how many calls? We need the specifics right now, man. That, that through um, Guy's admission that, you know, didn't- unlock. By the way, Dr. Disrespect name is Guy. Bruh. So when he says guys, like plural guys, he means G-U-W apostrophe S. So guy is not like guys, not guys, but guys, you, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, just, just so there's no confusion. It's like Dr. Disrespect name is guy. So he's saying guy apostrophe S, okay? Like guy is, so short version, guys, right? Bruh. Not like multiple guys, like you guys, not, not you guys, okay? Guy apostrophe S, okay? Hopefully uh, makes sense for people that are not aware. Line with the principles that we set out at Midnight Society when we created this studio and what we wanted to do. And because of that, even though 
you know, it's kind of a tough decision in the end. It's also the right decision because um, it just didn't align principally what we have set up as a studio, what we are all about. And if you guys don't remember back around those time where these allegations surfaced from a former Twitch employee, they were then shortly after admitted to by Doc himself. In a recent video, he broke down how he has now deleted those admission tweets. A return is expected sometime yeah. soon from Doc, where maybe he will explain this some way. Maybe he'll talk about the game. Maybe he'll talk about said allegations and explain it even further than he has online, which has... Vacation is just too good right now. We'll be back soon though, champs. We have lots to talk about. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> oh shit, that was August of 14. Damn, it already has been two weeks since then, right? When was this situation, by, uh, when, 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 uh, when was this situation originated? When did it originate, uh, originally started? I believe by the end of May, right? But wait for it, there's more. Has not been much outside that now uh, deleted admission and that very, very long tweet in doing so, but it was also Dead Drop who parted ways with him earlier than when he even admitted it himself. It was actually a day or so before that where they had already parted ways. And apparently, according to Quinn, that was due to their own self-investigation where Doc was also involved on those calls and maybe even admitted it to them before Damn. he had posted that admission online, which would also make sense. At first, Midnight Society actually received a fair amount of backlash for dropping the doc yeah. before he had then admitted yeah, to yeah, those yeah. allegations of inappropriate discussions with the minor. Yeah, definitely. I, I can totally empathize that that's must have been a hard decision for you guys to make. Um, did you say that you spoke to Guy in, in that process and he sort of, he, he didn't admit to the full allegations online, but he sort of uh, admitted to having some conversations that leaned on the side of inappropriate was that sort of the line where you guys were like okay we need to wash our hands of this or w were there other things that we don't know about uh yeah so first yes he was on the call he was on all the calls with us and i mean the main thing as we went through all this um that he he talked to us about what was going on and we just, just to be clear, Ryan, I'm not going to totally get into all the details of that because we want to respect a uh, guy as well in this. But yeah, we all four of us, we amicably, amicably decided, hey, you know, this is the best, what's best for Midnight Society. And we wish Guy nothing but the best in his future endeavors. And that way we can go and go after our vertical extraction shooter and dead drop and the things that we're trying to set up to do. And he can. Okay, go after our vertical experience whatever he said vertical game right dead drop yeah dead drop is gonna be a vertical experience bruh without doc bro it, it's over it already was g g garnering and gathering a lot of criticism when dr disrespect himself revealed it because back when he revealed the game he also did say that it's gonna be better than modern warfare 2022 which at the time modern warfare 2022 uh you know was considered the most advanced call of duty game ever you that's when we heard about the three years that's when we heard about the fact that Activision had three years, uh, 3,000 devs to make Modern Warfare 2022 Bruh. the most advanced Call of Duty game. Dr. Disrespect comes out, says that this game is going to be better than Modern Warfare 2. And when he revealed the gameplay, a lot of people started like, hey man, that's, that was it. That was it. You know, a lot of people were defending him. A lot of people were saying that, oh, it's unfinished. But a lot of people were also clowning. This is not my opinion. This is exactly what happened. But a lot of people were like, okay, you know what? It's going to be free to play. If it's for free, it's for me. You know, that sort of things. But now, yeah, like, I don't know. Go do the things that he needs to do to take care of himself and all that. And so that's where, after all that came together, we're like, all right. We decided all of us together amicably this is the best course of action and so that is really all quinn had to say about the doc situation the rest of which he said he was going to leave uh you know respect doc and, and hopefully that Wait he for it. gets the help that he needs and he, like you said before an amicable split that just was not going to work out with the overall mission of the studio he goes on to describe though what the future of this game might look like announcing some updates here and there they've been relatively quiet on social media but does also say they have a Future of the game. Future of the game. I think it's over, man. I think it's over for the future. I think there is no future. There's hardly even a present 
for the, the, the game, bro. Like, what we, yeah, what are we talking about right now, bro? There's hardly even present for this game, bro. A very diehard audience that if you Wait guys remember it. back to the, the Tales of Time of Dead Drop, what was supposed to make them special is they highly listened to community feedback. You know, everyone who dropped in day one was going to have a voice in this project, which he does maintain. I think some key words to pull from this is he also does say, hey, we don't know how big of an audience we are going to have, but we do know the audience we do have have is going to be highly engaged when this game eventually drops. We've been putting new builds weekly to our founders audience, the people that have bought into our experience. So every weekend we've been putting out a new build with changes and we've been heavily engaged with them on Discord, which has been uh -huh. uh, just a big relief and it's super exciting to be doing that again because we've got some incredible, um, I guess, Fans, I'll say. Like I, I try to hold that world pretty that word pretty sacred, but like fans that are really interested. Fans right now. <laughs> fans right now. Fans right now. In Dead Drop. And they're super engaged with us. And so every week we put out something new for them and we have a good uh discourse back and forth with them on Discord. Oh, that's it's good, been, that's it's good. It's been amazing. And that has also met with a lot of people questioning ever since Doc's parting ways with the company, you know, no matter what you think uh, about the instance, this was a terrible blow for Midnight Society facts, and facts. the game Dead Drop, right? When you lose your biggest marketing arm, your biggest pull to the game, it could not have been an easy choice to make to have to part ways with him. I think it was likely the right decision, but it sucks because if you do enjoy the game, you know it's probably going to impact their future, which they got to deal with. And I think that's what you can draw from those words of, we don't know how big the audience we're going to have is going to end up being, but luckily they do have a die. Is it going to be more than Concord player count or uh, and Dustborn player count? Find out next. A hard niche fan base that enjoys the whole vertical extraction shooter and be. what they're building. So we'll see what that comes with. And Quinn but, really stresses this by saying, we got a lot of work to do and we got to make sure when we do launch, which is set for the fall of 2025, they got to they gotta make- Oh man, it is over, bro. Oh. Hey, yo, hey, yo, what the hell? Like fall of 2025, that's when GTA 6 is going to come out, bro. That's when GTA 6 is going to come out, damn it. You think that anybody's going to play this game when GTA 6 comes out? Unless GTA 6 gets delayed, but yeah, right? Like, come on, man. Like the video if you're not going to be playing Dead Rob. Uh, like the video if you're going to be, play be playing GTA 6 when GTA 6 comes out, right? Dislike the video if you're going to be playing Dead Rob. I want to know where you at with it. Make their mark. Like a lot of other games out there nowadays, if you don't make your mark on launch, you're pretty much it's dead over. on release. I had a really good conversation with them this past week because there's some features that we kind of we kind of cut you know, as we were in this dark period. Uh, and that was specifically was ledge hang, right? Where we'd let players like hang from a ledge, which you don't really see too much in games these days. And they really love that. And so we're like, okay, well, let's figure out how do we get that back in there? And we had a really good, healthy conversation with them. We found out who was passionate about it. And uh -huh. one thing that I can guarantee Ryan is I can't necessarily guarantee the size of the audience of the game that we're, we're gonna have. But I can guarantee you the game that we do make is the audience we have is going to love it because we are listening to them and we're working with them. I mean, this is not 100% true, but I think most of the time you only really get to launch your game one time. Mm. And uh, you can't unlaunch an experience. And first impression... Unless you're Ubisoft. Even though I know we've been talking about open development and there's lots of people that have already have a first expression of our impression of our game. But... When we are talking about going on Xbox and PlayStation, as we are as approved developers for those platforms, we're also looking oh, at Steam. Shit. We're trying to get on Steam. Yo, it's coming on PlayStation as well? Okay, not, that's a W, uh, I guess, because uh, I was not expecting it to come on PlayStation. Uh, it was uh, supposed to be PC only, right? Okay, no, nah, that's good. That's good. Is it going to be free to play? Free to play? Free to play? I can I can see this game getting more players than Concord for sure. I, I know Sega's gonna be hating it for sure, but uh, people are gonna be complaining because of course, like people are def either uh, you're defending Doc or you're not defending Doc right now, right? There's no middle ground right now. But uh, when this game comes out, I think people are gonna jump in because of all the controversy uh, uh, surrounding Doctor Disrespect, the studio, and, and, and all, and, and of course Doctor Disrespect reach being massive too. I think the game is gonna easily do more than Concord, bro. Like I can see this game doing more than Concord, but and when you are on there, you need to make sure that you have your experience buttoned up so that people like it, and then word of mouth spreads because we're trying to go even more broad. 
than this incredible loving uh, community that we have now. And we think they're going to get our back. They're going to help us out. But the things that we have to get right is, again, it's a first person shooter experience. Shooting's got to feel tight. Yeah. Movement's got to feel exquisite. Uh, the verticality of our levels have to not only be there and shine. Okay. Tight, ex ex exquisite, vertical. But the um, orientation and how you find orientation. your way through these environments. Okay. And so that is Doc's form. Guys, check out this video on the screen. Recently, we had insane drama with Noah J, Mr. T Lexify. If you have seen it, then check out the video on the left. Really good news about GTA 6 gameplay leaks, heist leaks, and all that. All right. Check out both of these videos, and I'll see you right there. Let me know your thoughts, boys.